Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm gonna show you a really simple routine that you can do to start to open up the hips. Let's get started. We'll start in a downward dog. So start on all fours here on your hands and knees, fingers spreading nice and wide. Gently tuck your toes, we'll lift your hips all the way up and back. And then just simply move around a little bit here if this feels nice, starting to get the whole body open and working together. And we'll take a big inhale, reach your right leg all the way up and back behind you, downward dog split. If it feels good here to open up the hips and shoulders, go for that, maybe bend your knee, reach the toes way off. And we'll take this right knee all the way up and around, tap it to the outside edge of your right shoulder, then softly bring your foot on the ground right outside of this right hand, letting the hips start to open up a bit. Real gently, we'll soften the back knee down to the ground here, real easy on that kneecap. And then up to you, maybe say right here, if this is a lot already going on with the hips, if there's a little bit more room in here to slowly soften, maybe one forearm down or the other, just breathe a lot here. Very big, long inhales and even longer, deeper exhales. And then if it feels good to rock onto the outside edge of your front foot here, that's a nice one to really get into the hip joint as well. And another nice one is to bend your back knee and spin your belly around, catching a hold of your foot with this hand. If this is painful or feels any twinging at all, just soften out of it and back away. No need to move into anything that feels painful. Just a few more deep breaths. And when you're ready, slowly coming out of this one here, we'll straighten up your arms on your shoulders, tuck your back toes, straighten up your back leg. We'll spin your whole right foot out to face the right side of your room, reach your right arm all the way backward here, nice big gentle spin. And then unwinding here, we'll heel toe scooch this front foot right back to the middle of your hands. Then we'll soften the back knee down here for a nice low lunge. Just a few breaths here, letting your hips sink nice and low, shoulders relax down your back. Maybe stay right here if this is enough of an opening or if there's a little bit more room in here to slowly peel yourself open. Go for that, letting the hips sink. Chest can lift up. Maybe even take your arms back behind you if that feels nice. And when you're ready, we'll bring the whole thing all the way back down. Press your left fingertips into the ground. We'll spin your whole belly open to the side. And gently bring both fingertips back down to your ground here. Tuck your back toes under and start to lift your hips straight upward and let your torso here just soften and fold inward over this leg. Breathing a lot into your back. And slowly sink your hips all the way back into your nice low lunge here. Press your palms firmly down on your ground. We're gonna lift everything all the way up and back to your nice downward dog. Again, just relax the heels, relax your head and neck and shoulders. So again, next inhale, take your left leg way up and back behind you, downward dog. Split again if it feels good here to open up through the hips and shoulders. Go for that, bend the knee. So again, we'll arc this left knee way up and around, tap it to the outside of your left shoulder, then softly bring the foot on the ground right outside of this left hand. Real gently here, we'll lower your back knee down to the ground, easy on that kneecap. And again, just feel what's going on in your hips here. Maybe stay right here if this is enough of an opening or if the hips feel a little bit tighter. If there's a little bit more room softening, maybe one elbow, maybe the other one. And just relax your head and neck here. And just breathe a whole lot into the back of your body, into your hips. And if again, if it feels good to rock onto the outside edge of your front foot here, that's a nice one to get into the hip joint. Spend a few breaths there. And if it feels good to bend your back knee, spin your belly around and catch a hold of your foot with your left hand, something to do. Again, just stay real easy. Maybe draw your foot in toward your body to open up the body in a different way or press it away from you to open up the spine. And when you're ready, ease in all the way out of that one. We'll straighten up your arms right under your shoulders. Tuck your back toes, straighten up that back leg. We'll spin your whole left foot out to face the left. Reach your left arm all the way up and back behind you. Big spin. And then from here, we'll heel to scooch this front foot right back to the middle of your hands. Nice low lunge. We'll soften the back knee down to the ground here. And again, just easy on the hips. Maybe stay right here if this is enough of an opening. If there's a little bit more space in there to slowly peel yourself open, go for that. Easy, deep breath. Maybe keeps the hands on the ground. Maybe keep the arms reaching up and back behind you. Again, if that's a little too intense, you can always just have the hands rested on the thigh or anything else. And when you're ready, you'll press your palms down to the ground. Press down to lift your hips and belly. Lift the leg all the way right back into your nice downward dog here. 
And I'm going to take another big inhale, reach the right leg way up and back behind you. Maybe bend the knee, reach the toes. So this time we'll bring it right on through for pigeon pose, so letting your shin softly find its way down here. Take a little while to get all set up here. You want to make sure there's no pain in the knee or ankle or shins anywhere. You can always draw your foot a little bit closer toward you if there's pain in the knee or if the hips are way up high. You can also sit up on a pillow here if that feels better. So once you feel pretty settled here, take a big inhale, open everything all the way up. And then as you exhale, soften all the way up and over this leg. And we'll just relax here for a few breaths. So getting nice and comfortable, maybe you're on the forearms, maybe it feels better to soften your forehead on your arms, wherever you're at, just breathe a lot. When you're ready, slowly bring yourself all the way up from that one. And we're just gonna take a nice twist around toward your right side here, spin around from your belly, all the way up and out to the very top of your head. Nice, easy turn. And when you're ready, rolling all the way back to your middle. So up to you. If this is a lot in the hips already, maybe stay right here. If there's a little bit more room to bend your back knee and catch a hold of your foot, maybe guide it in toward your hips here. That's a nice opening. If it feels better to slide your foot in your elbow, catching it right there and linking hand, something to do. But if there's pain or if it just doesn't feel good at all, just soften out of that one. And we'll open up the hips a little bit more, sitting into your right hip. Gently swing your back leg all the way around, stacking up your ankles and knees right on top of each other. And just sitting up nice and long here. So a few easy breaths, maybe staying upright the whole time. Maybe start to slowly lengthen your body on forward or take a gentle trip around to one side for a few breaths and the other side. This can be a whole lot on the hips here. If the hips feel a little bit tense or this just isn't comfortable at all, you can always just sit with the one leg and in front of the other leg here and do the same thing. So make sure nothing is painful. Now when you're ready, slowly bring yourself up from that one here. So you're gonna try a nice compass pose here. Give this leg a good squeeze in toward your body. If there's room to draw your foot in your elbow, something to do here, sitting up nice and tall. You feel a really good release in the hips here. And then we'll hold underneath the leg here, hike it up on top of your shoulder. Bring your opposite hand to the outside of your foot, opposite fingertips right beside you, and gently lean into your hips. We'll open everything all the way up. Big, easy breath. And when you're ready, bring yourself all the way back to your middle. So we're just gonna come back onto your hands and knees, right back into your downward dog, and do the same thing on the other side. So when you're all settled in here, next inhale, take your left leg way up and back behind you, opening up the hips and shoulders. Maybe bend the knee, open up the hips here. And again, we'll bring it right on through for your pigeon pose. Soften the shin all the way down. And take a few breaths to get all set up here. Once you feel pretty settled here, take a big inhale, open your body all the way up. And then as you exhale, we'll soften all the way over this front leg. And just get comfortable here so you can breathe a few moments, maybe up on the forearms, maybe soften your forehead onto the back of the hands. And breathe into the back of your body. And when you're ready, slowly bring yourself all lit from that one. We'll unwind with a nice twist here, spinning around from your belly all up and up to the very top of your head. And we'll bring it all the way back to your middle. So again, up to you, maybe stay right here if this is enough of an opening. If it feels even better to bend your back knee and catch a hold of your foot, just be real gentle on your bodies here. Don't push or force anything, go nice and slow. Maybe catch it into your elbow and open and link the hands. And when you're ready, easing out of that one here, we'll swing this back leg all the way around. Just stack up the ankles and knees again, right on top of each other. And if this is a little too intense on the hips, you can always just sit with the one leg, just right in front of the other leg, real easy cross-legged. So up to you, maybe stay upright for a little while if this is enough. If there's a little more space to slowly lengthen on forward, that's great too. And just breathe a lot. Maybe take a walk around to one side for a few breaths and same thing around to the other side. If you find any spots with tension, see if you can stay there for a few deep breaths, usually starts to dissolve. And when you're ready, bring yourself all the way from that one here. So the last one, go ahead and grab a hold of the leg. Give it a good squeeze in toward your body, the holding your foot in right above your knee. Or if there's a little bit more space, to slide it into your elbow. That's a nice one too. We rock a little side to side. So we'll just grab a hold of underneath the calf here. Bring the knee right up onto your shoulder. This hand goes to the outside of your foot. Fingertips on the ground. Just sitting into both hips here. So wherever you're at, maybe stay right here. If there's no more room in the hamstring, no need to straighten the leg. If there is room, go ahead and straighten it again. Wherever you're at, it's a nice place to stay. Anywhere along the way, make sure there's enough room and enough breath. You can always 
breathe easily is a good place. <laughs> and when you're ready, gently bring yourself all the way to that one and you're done. So there you have it, a great and simple routine that you can do to start to open up those hips. I'm Tara Stiles and I'll see you next time on The Yoga Solution. Now that you've opened up those hips, this next video is all about building upper body and shoulder strength so you can get into a lot of the trickier poses a lot more easy. So deep breaths and get ready.